All right, well, I'm with, um, I'm here with Phantom talking about, uh, Sacred, if you'd like to, uh, talk a little bit about yourself, you know. Hello, uh, my name is, uh, X Phantom, also known as Fantuzler, also known as just Jimmy. Um, most people just call me Phantom. So, uh, yeah, and, I, and I'm, and I'm Sicker, the, uh, Goliath Paladin, uh, currently fourth level at this point. Um, um, I guess, um, I guess shall I, I guess about my character, um, he's, he's a very, I'd say, I, I, a lot of what Sicker is inspired by is, um, basically, uh, basically like Conan the Barbarian, that sort of thing. I just I just watched like I didn't necessarily watch the movie, but I definitely like listened to the books and I have watched a couple of reviews of like the old like Arnold Schwarzenegger style movies and I kind of I kind of even though they were cheesy and kind of and like in some places I I I kind of did get inspired by them to make this kind of character that is like it's if Conan was more religious in yeah. a sense. So I made him a, I didn't want to make him a straight out barbarian because I like the idea of him worshiping like this very brutal this kind of semi-brutal warlike god and like you get powers from that i thought that would be kind of cool something you would see on like a metal album cover or something that that's that sort of thing yeah i was saying um from my understanding you uh not from my understanding i know for certain you you made the deity he's a really interesting one um and uh yeah I mean, I won't go into any, you know, I won't go into great detail in case you wanted to or in case you didn't, you know, really want it out That's there. That's fine. It's, it's, your, it's your video, so, so say what you want if you want to explain or if you don't want to explain. It's no, up to you. I mean, I just, I just, want, I just want to say that I like, uh, I like Kurgan as a deity. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I, I uh, and, you know, I've, I've been liking Sacred as well. Um, and speaking of Sacred, why don't, let's, uh, Say, talk a little bit some things he likes, some things he dislikes, you know, just how Sickard is, um, in general. Well, Sickard as a, well, Sickard as a character, he's a very, he's a very, uh, I guess, like, pr he can be a little steely, I guess you could say, like, he, he's definitely in for, like, jokes and whatnot, not, but, like, he, he does, like, he, he puts on, like, a work appearance, so to speak, like, <laughs> a, like, a very tough guy appearance, like, he doesn't, like he says, let's go this way, or let's go that way. He's like, he, he says matter. He says like things like matter of factly, I guess you could say. Yeah. So he's not like he's not like a spit. He he he's a friendly guy when you get to know him, but he definitely is like the guy you don't want to get upset or angry. Like if he he knows if he has an advantage over you, he will, and he doesn't like you, he will like exploit it. Yeah, like and like the nerds. He's a, he's a, he... <laughs> yeah, definitely like the nerds. Uh. What basically what happened there was I th they called me not smart and I said I'd show them how smart I am by individually breaking every single bone in your body, like all <laughs> like what like several hundred of them. Yeah. <laughs> um. So <laughs> and, uh, um, not quite they, a feat of intelligence, but you know it got the point across. Yeah, I mean like it's it's it, it's good it's good to know like the biology of someone in order to break them apart. Oh, yeah. um, he, uh, he he has a decent he does he has a decent intelligence like he's not stupid he's not like he, he definitely can he definitely likes to think tactically like for instance he was not the type to just go barreling in there when you guys decide like when the rest of the party decide to like like half the party decide to intervene on like a battle that was like completely like we didn't know exactly what was going on he wanted to like scout out the place before he like even decided to potentially intervene yeah fair yeah. I say, I, I, and you know, risking your risking your life and um, and um, you know, putting in effort or two different things. I guess. Oh yeah. Except. Oh yeah, definitely yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I guess for likes and dislikes, he obviously likes. He definitely he definitely has a like for for combat, at least especially when he like is in the mood for it. Like if he's going against somebody he doesn't like or feels like it's a righteous cause. Um, he definitely likes to, um, he definitely likes drinking, he definitely likes merrymaking, he definitely, he, um, he does like, he, he, he also likes athletics and sports and whatnot. He, he does appreciate the fine arts in life, he, he does like collecting art and painting and like, um, little trinkets here and there. He likes hearing stories, he, he's, he's a, he's a very, he's a very, I, I try to make him kind of a worldly man, I guess, like he goes, a very vicious, uh, kind of worldly man, so to speak. Yeah. 
like, but like he has a big it comes with the territory though. But he's like, he... yeah. <laughs> but he, but he, but he likes he he, he wants he wants to explore around. He's doing it. He's mainly doing this because like he wants to make himself. He want he does actually kind of want to make himself king eventually, like a king of something. He wants to become great. Yeah, that's his big goal. Like like Conan, and that's yeah. I, I, he's and uh, he's I I I just kind of make him like this very. I guess I I guess you could say like a a person who's out there out to see the world, and but also has also is not like is ready to throw down very easily. In fact, will probably like throwing down a, a couple few times. Like you he, he, <laughs> like you would be boring if you didn't throw down at least at least a month. They didn't invite someone at least like at least once a week, probably. <laughs> fair fair. So I can see in his kingdom definitely a few uh, ar- uh, arenas or gauntlets or challenges or something. Potentially, potentially. It it, de- it depends how it serves the pe- uh, serves like the overall people, I guess you would say. Yeah, it'd be a nice little training ground. But uh, but enough about you know <laughs> enough about that. When, when that time comes. Oh yeah, he dislikes he dislikes he definitely dislikes a few things. Obviously, this guy here. Um. He has, he definitely does not like, um, he definitely does not like camels. He definitely does not like snakes. Um, <laughs> I, he def, he, Did you say camels? Yeah. Yeah, he does not, like, yeah, he, he hates snakes and camels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why does he hate I know camels? it's very specific, but they, they, they spit on him. Oh, that's fair. They, 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 yeah. He finds them gross and like very ornery and like they they, they spit everywhere. They, oh, yeah, he's they, brought that up in character, hasn't weird. he? Um, I don't know. I don't think because that I sounds don't think so it's on his character. Oh, well, it, 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 I actually got the idea from Conan. Oh, like there's a, there's a there's like there's like a running joke in like the first, in the two big Conan Arnold Schwarzenegger movies that there's this camel that spits on him and he punches it in the face. Oh, I see. I haven't, I haven't touched those movies. And oh yeah, yeah. And the snake thing also came from Conan, but also like, also maybe like Indiana Jones as well, because like, like, like you know, why did it have to be snakes? That sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Because snakes are, sli- are sli- to, to, to him are like slithery, and like he has a bad. He he also had a bad experience with snakes, and snakes things that are involved snakes at least on a metaphysical level. Mm-hmm. Like he just lets. Let's just say he encountered certain things that made him have a low opinion on snakes. He also he also doesn't like it when people like insult him behind his back, and like he de- like as I said before, if he has an advantage over you and can easily take and like could take you out without like potential like without uh, like major repercussions, he will he 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 will he, he will he will cut you in half potentially just to show the, the others who are like like I, I don't don't mess with me. Um, yeah. So to speak. Um, what else does he not like? Um it, hmm. um I guess he hmm. I don't know for now. Like I, I guess that's his most chief dislike. So, like what do you what do you think he might dislike that I'm missing? <laughs> well, given the current dungeon you guys are in, illusions or um Yeah, well, I mean <laughs> he, I'd say he'd see the value in having illusions, like I guess I guess I mean, he's not—he's not against magic at all. He uses magic. He like, yeah. I, but I, I definitely think he'd be like, I just really, you he, he, he would definitely just like whoever made this dungeon. It yeah. like, if it turns out that like, this dungeon was meant to like kill them or everything, especially the spiders, the spiders that, that came down. He, 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 like, he just likes them a, a oh, lot, yeah. <laughs> like nearly killing him. I say that's pretty fair. This is the re. This is the reason why I have several backup characters, just in case for this to happen. Mm. Um, what else is there to talk about for Sickard? Um, um, I guess as of right now, he, he also, I, I guess you could say he's also a very romantic lover, I guess you could say. Oh, yeah, with right uh, now he's Le Chiste. Yeah, yeah, with Le Chiste, yeah, the, the half-orc girl, like, you like, like. Like, let's just say for those who are not aware, he definitely, like, on the first day, he gave her, like, uh, in the morning, gave her, like, a dress and, like, what else? What else was it? I think jewelry as well? Yeah, it, it was, 
uh, it, it was it was it was a lot of nice gifts. I just I don't remember the uh, fine details. Oh yeah, I mean. Was, uh, hmm. Oh yeah, and later on before I left, I gave her a sword because like I, like because of her let's just say her business like the, the, the what she was doing for the last while. Uh, like he felt like maybe like I don't know I should probably give her something to defend herself because who knows what kind of people he she he might she might encounter over the uh, like in her time potentially especially since she's a half orc you know because not half orcs don't usually live the most glamorous lifestyle yeah yeah to say it's still uh, and you know kind of traditional yeah it's still kind of traditional D and D elements where the orcs aren't really the most uh, loved people yeah um, but, you know. And that's why he's giving her the sword, you know, like, who knows. And also, I'm currently on a quest. I have dragon scales, so uh, not ever th not enough to make a suit, but definitely enough to make, well, I guess... Um, <laughs> dragon scale uh, bikini? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because, like, who wouldn't want... Like, you guys giggle at that, but, like, who wouldn't want, no, like, I'm, a dragon scale swimsuit? I'm, I'm with you, but I just my, my, thing, my thing was just, like, giving it to the gnome just would be just... <laughs> just out there would just be wonderful. Um, I can see yeah. Egan running around with a little dragon shell swimsuit on. Um, not that I'm saying you I have don't to imagine that. <laughs> oh no, I don't uh, want to imagine it either. I, I just the the sound of it is uh, is humorous, giggly. Yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty much. Uh, what is there else to say about Sickard? I don't want to. I hope I'm not making him sound like the stereotypical brute man. No, like, no. Oh, 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 oh. Uga Uga, I'm gonna beat you overhead with club. Oh, no. I, was, I want I wanted to make like I, I wanted to make like an intelligent an intelligent warrior who definitely like but also has like a violent streak. But a practical like I guess you could say for like a better word, a practical violent streak. Like if like you insult him and it's clear that he doesn't have the advantage, he'll just turn the other cheek. Yeah. And, but then most likely plot your downfall potentially somehow the moment like and wait for the moment for you to be for the weakness to show. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say he's a um, definitely a lot of interesting, um, not just fighter elements, but like in truly his um, his paladin side shows, like um, you know him him being ever so faithful with his deity and um, you know in prayer and uh, you know through through speaking with uh, this being and um, <laughs> them definitely them speaking to you. <laughs> Oh yeah. Um, do you want to talk? Do you want to like talk about, uh, uh, like talk about Kurgan, like like a ba or maybe like basically like his backstory, like a short, like a very abridged version of his backstory. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um. By all um means. So basically, Sickard was a Goliath, part of like a mountain. Yeah. Okay. Uh, basically part of a mountain step tribe, who just kind of went around very nomadic people near, so sort of close by the mountain, so to speak. Uh, I kind of imagine them kind of being somewhat like if you guys, if any of these listeners are like about like interested in like history, um, uh, there's also there's like the Scythians. I, I like I can't help but think of, but maybe they might have like sort of this like be more of a like inspired by those guys a little bit. Okay. Um, but like, but eventually, like his dad, the big, the, he was he's like the prime pathfinder for the tribe. Uh, eventually found this artifact, like this, uh, not, I wouldn't say artifact, he found writings in this temple that allured to a god, like a place in like their folklore that was, uh, it was basically like El Dorado, kind of, mm -hmm. so to speak, but also like a place of like, a place of like the gods, uh, so to speak, that was deep in like, deep in the jungles of, an, of, um, of one of the far off continents. And so basically he preached this to the people, he gathered like half the tribe, including Sickard, and his mom, and uh, they went off and took on a long, grueling trek across the land. Many people died. Many like it, just all sorts of you know things happened. There was there was triumph. There was defeat. All sorts of all sorts of things like that. But they eventually reached the deep forests, and then just one night, everyone but Sickard disappeared. And also, I must mention that this is related to like a snake goddess. The t the place there were like there is a snake goddess. Uh, that's attached to the like the place there, the El Dorado esque place that we're trying to go for. Okay. It was like she was what her name was. Uh, what was the name of the goddess that I came up with? Read about that. Her name is Yingvar. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
so yeah she's basically like it, and like it was basically like her like all super awesome cool city that was like super amazing and she's like her big thing is like she is uh she is the goddess of snake youth and um I guess, I guess, pleasure for lack of a better word. I won't say it's not, it's, I won't like necessarily like get like the, I won't necessarily have like it just solely being like, you know, the physical like that sort of thing, but you, you might get my, you might get my drift, not like necessarily like carnal or physical, so to speak, but like just uh, like, just like, like li the vigor of life in general, so to speak. Yeah. yeah. And so they, they wanted to find a super awesome city that she had deep in the jungle that was basically like, made of gold it's all sorts of cool stuff there it's great we'll be living on be living like kings for the rest of lives or eternity but unfortunately the tribe just up and disappeared while they were in the jungles and eventually sickard eventually found his way out of the jungles avoiding all the snakes that's where he got his hate hatred of snakes because of the whole like happenings that happened because of like snake connotations mm -hmm. and also just having to deal with the snakes that were in the jungle and eventually he came back home to where his tribe would would have been but found out they were all destroyed by a rival tribe he eventually found a new tribe in like the high mountains that were these like big like this one of this more legendary tribes in like this deep deep mountain area mm -hmm. and they basically taught him in the ways of this god named kurgan who was basically he is the god he's a, like he's basically like, He's a com he's a, basically a god of war as well as like um, nature and magic. He leads the, he often leads this thing called the Wild Hunt, um, inspired by not only the Witcher but also like uh, Celtic folklore in general. And yeah. he basically is like he's a he's a, he's a war god who seeks out like righteous war and like and like bringing out vengeance and also like telling secrets and also represents the vitality of nature that sort of thing and he and that's basically what he is and that's what how sick and sicker came to worship that god and saw his important he was he's part of this group called the riders of doom for a while they they were basically a bunch of horsemen who kind of went around doling out like frontier justice slash just like the occasional raiding <laughs> of the towns they some of some villages they didn't like yeah they started and, uh, thing. <laughs> say again i said they started it kind of thing uh kidding yeah yeah pretty much yeah i guess you could say that in some respects um other and then um then eventually though he did kind of like say you know i'm gonna go on my off on my own for a while and then he left off to become an adventurer and that's and eventually and then he eventually came across the party so he basically got hired basically to join the party by you not yeah Actually, I think he was the... Um... And he's currently on this quest. Oh, that's... No, yeah. that's right. He did know you not. My bad. I was about to say, I thought... Yeah, he... and eventually... No, sorry. Go yeah. ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's okay. Oh, um, 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 I'm sorry about that. Um, So, uh -huh. I think... uh, I think that's pretty much it. He, event he right now, is like... He also found... uh Introduced uh, Crumb's character, the... um. um Egan the uh, oh, gnome, the gnome. Egan, yeah, Egan the gnome. Egan, Egan the gnome, gnome wizard. And they're currently on this big old thing to get this pin. And uh, yeah, and that's where in this currently in this dungeon for right now to get this pin. And it's a crazy dungeon, like it's a dungeon of illusions. It's like a fun house in here, but not the good kind. <laughs> it's like a fun house, but not that fun. It's no, not really a house. Unless you're a spider that likes. No, it's like an under. It's it's a it's like a dungeon or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's pr that's pretty much it for what I want to talk about for Stickers, really. Okay. I think we covered everything possibly related to him, unless you have any other ideas, like anything that might be missing. Don't be um, afraid to tell me if I'm missing anything. I don't think. So. No, no, you're you're fine. I I just kind of want to let you, uh, you know. Uh, tell oh, yeah, us yeah. a little bit about Sacred, you know, because um, I mentioned him in videos before. I just it's it's nice to get kind of depth yeah. to the character. Um, depth oh to yeah, the character. I yeah. hope to also give more creative kills than just simply shoving things down people's mouths. Like <laughs> that, I, I've done that twice now. Like shoved a thing down people's throats, and like in the first session I was in, yeah, like twice now. 
put one in. Once was an EOT with death sticks, and the other and the other one was this one with bread, and I did it twice in a row with bread. It's either a really clever kill or a kink. We'll figure that one out. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, um, uh, so, I so, guess, I guess, I guess we could, what, yeah? Oh, I was, I was just going to say, I mean, about you, kind of like ex your experience in role-playing in D&D, and um, something mm -hmm. I threw in, started throwing in with Matthew, uh, your favorite tabletop games. Okay. Um, so I started, I started with role-playing when uh basically in this game called uh i was part of the I, I was part of the alpha legion at a time which is uh alpha which is a l f a legion which is basically a steam group that was um it, it was a war if you know warmer warmer 30000 that was that was basically a warmer 40000 like group so to speak that wanted that talked about the lore did like stuff about like with the game with the various warmer 40k games about that and eventually, I heard of this uh, Warmer 40k RPG called um, Dark Heresy, and I got the rule books for the books for Christmas. And eventually, I, through asking around, eventually got a group together to play a uh, play a, a game uh, play a, a game that we did every uh, Friday, pretty much. And it was basically basically imagine JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but in 40k. Like we had, <laughs> like literally, we had a. We had a we had a Jonathan Joestar. We had uh, Stroheim. We had freaking uh, Speedwagon as the arbitrator. <laughs> Stroheim was the tech priest. Okay. Um. Yeah, it, it, we called it JoJo's Bizarre Heresy, and Dio was the arch villain. It 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 started out just as a regular 40k of uh, uh, Dark Heresy game, but eventually, I uh, because of the fact of so much JoJo, I got the JoJo bug, and eventually added Dio as the main villain of the campaign. Yeah. Uh, that That's campaign fair. unfortunately petered out for a while. Like people got, uh, people got like uh, people things moved on. There was just uh, things didn't just go gel well, and uh, eventually I, eventually I started looking to other games and I wanted to start playing DD. And I saw Fifth Edition had come out. I originally was going to do Pathfinder, but then I saw a Fifth Edition came in and I was there and I and I, and it was recommended to me, and so I picked up Fifth I picked up Fifth Edition. And I liked it a lot when I read it, and so I started making this, uh, I started, uh, making, uh, a making, uh, this whole campaign involving creating Ambrosia, and, like, and, uh, putting a lot of my old work from my, pa like, Pathfinder, like, speculation, like, Pathfinder, like, freehand writing into, like, the campaign itself, and, uh, that basically came up with D&D &D Ambrosia, which, which, how, I, that's how I met Brandon, Matt, and the whole, and the whole other, rest of the group, really, and, um, that's how, that's why, that's, that itself is why I'm here today. Yeah, it's, it's good to have you. And that, that yeah, I yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm here. I'm, I'm definitely good that I'm here, yeah. doing all this. And now I'm part of Brandon's game, and uh, Sickard, and I'm also doing EOTE with Gand, uh, which is Star Wars: Edge of the Empire, um, where we play as a bunch of Star Wars characters. I'm a droid, CH1, basically, and I'm basically a shooty make. Imagine a droid version that's uh, imagine a much more polite droid version of um Buffalo Bill. I guess <laughs> he's not as vicious as Buffalo Bill or, or as macabre, but at least by human standards. But like he, he has says, a he wants to it. <laughs> what? Sorry, when you said a much more polite version of Buffalo Bill, he says please before he skins you. <laughs> yeah. Put the lotion on the you. He puts the lotion on the skin, or else he gets the soldering iron. <laughs> oh boy, he puts the oil in the sockets. And like the, he puts the oil in the sockets. Yes. Um. Uh, I I I guess like this main thing is like he likes to customize himself. So if he kills a droid that is like much better than he is, he'll like take his parts and add them to his himself. So yeah. I guess you could say he's doing a a woman a droid suit, so to speak. He's he's not like he doesn't kill indiscriminately, but definitely like if he has the if he knows you're a better droid, he might actually try to kill you. Yeah, he's he's trying to become more droid than man. Wait a minute. <laughs> he was already <laughs> droid. <laughs> exactly. Um. Uh. So, I think um and my favorite one of my uh my my favorite tabletop games. Yeah. Um. I, mean, I guess my favorite tabletop games, um, it varies a lot. Um, yeah? Oh, no, no, sorry, go ahead. 
uh, lately I've been getting a lot into um, 40K stuff. It's probably not surprising at this point. Um, mainly <laughs> right now, currently I'm waiting for 8th edition to come out. 8th edition is, uh, is, is like imminent upon us at this point, like less than a month to release. I already pre-ordered mine, basically pre-ordered mine at my local store. And uh, right now I'm, I'm going into Shadow War Armageddon, which is basically Necromunda, but with a, a different name. So I'm having fun with that. And I also play board games of a whole variety of, of board games with my cousin, Ryan. And um, yeah. And like, we, and like we, and then we just play a whole variety of board games, like sh um, like um, uh, Star Wars. What was it called? Uh, we played Armada. Uh, we played uh, several <laughs> versions of the Fantasy Flight ca card games. Star uh, Wars Rebellion. How is Armada, by the way? I've played X Wing. I played. I played the crap out of X Wing, but and I've had a copy of Armada for like I think close to a year and a half now, and I still haven't even like learned it yet. It's pretty good. I, I it's pretty good. I I I I definitely it's but it, it's it, it, as far as I can tell, I haven't played. I haven't only played like one game of um, X Wing, but it is kind of like X Wing, but on a bigger scale. I yeah. I'd say I'd say totally give it a try if you played X Wing. Cool. In that case, I might. I'm sure there's different. Might soon open. I'm up sure there's different there. mechanics. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, X Wing more and, or less is uh, X Wing is more or less just the simplified version, and then they came out with Armada and said, "Hey, here's actual wargaming stuff, and you know, more complex and uh, not not really necessarily complex, but a lot more um, intricate, from what I hear." That... Also, also, we I've been trying. Me, and my, my cousin Ryan, have been tr trying to play continuously, trying to play Shat uh, Twilight Imperium. We played it once. And we've been trying to get a new, uh, more people to jo to play with that. I if get I, my friends in. Try to get my dad in because he also plays board games. If I could, uh, if, if I, I could, could join, join you guys from online, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, there. If if you have tabletops, if you have tabletop simulator, that uh, you that they have that as a game in there. Oh, cool! I didn't know that. Yeah, hmm. and what else? Um. Uh, am I? I'm forgetting something. Uh, uh, for the longest time, one of my favorite board ga favorite tabletop games was also HeroScape. Uh, if you don't remember, HeroScape was basically build your own terrain. Like they had hexagonal tiles that you could make your own terrain with. It was great, and like all sorts of different types of armies, consistency. I used to play that with my dad like all the time. I still have the tiles, which I occasionally use. Mm -hmm. Like if I have friends over who like, I also play Age of Sigmar. I know some people might not like Age. I know a lot of people don't like Age of Sigma, but I do. Enjoy, I still enjoy it for like the system itself. Mm -hmm. And so I I play that with several of my. Uh, I played up. I played a couple of my friends, uh, and they they seem to enjoy. It. I, I and I've been using HeroScape tiles for that, because oh. for battlefields and yeah, yeah. Mm. And uh, I think that's pretty much the shebang of my total uh, tabletop experience. It's been kind of all over the place. All right. I mean, you know, really? anything else you want to, you know, you want to add either about, yeah. you know, Sicker or whatever else? Oh, you there? I can't, I can't think of it. I can't think of anything, anything really. Yeah, I hear you. I hear oh, you. sorry. I thought, I thought it went out. All right. Um... Oh no, it's okay. I mean, you are getting a couple, a little, little bit like in and out, in and out, but like you're fine. The, the, you're you're good now. Um, Make sure my internet. I guess that's pretty be much. Be okay. Sorry. Trying to stop you. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I can't really say anything else. All right, man. About like, I think I covered everything. All right. Well, I mean, you know, thanks for uh, you know, I guess enlightening those that. You know, listen to the staff more uh, logs on who uh, Sacred is and, you know, what Kurgan's about and, um, you know, the guy behind it, yeah. behind it all. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and cut this. So, uh, bye. Bye.